Chapter 9, Introduction. In the classroom, we have Maya and ZBrush running side by side. To learn one is to learn the other, in my opinion, you know, especially for what we, we have to learn. And that is how to produce mapping from ZBrush to Maya, and then Maya to a game engine. Okay, that's our end goal. So in this case, I'm showing you how to produce all the maps in ZBrush and exporting them out into Maya. And then we're going to leave it there. So later on when I get to the gaming fundamentals, um, we can take and then look at how they all correlate back into a game engine. So you'll need Maya for this, um, but certainly it if you're watching this on the internet this is another thing that you know it's just a lesson based upon uh, a workflow okay so in this this is what our end goal is to produce something that goes from ZBrush as a very high-res object over to an application such as Maya as a very low so the other one was 4 million this one's 558 polys Okay, and can you tell the difference? I don't know. Can you? So the texture is applied. Some of the maps are applied. So you're going to be able to see what a diffuse map is, what a special effect a specular map is, what a specular map is, what a normal map is, and what a color map is, and how to export those maps out of ZBrush into Maya. Okay? And then I'll also show you how to package that up professionally. Um, both as a high-res and a low-res project. So that way you can turn in your work to me and it, the end-all project, the high-res, is five, I don't know, 258 megs. But the low-res version is, the, that's what you're looking at. This is the low-res version um, is only two megs, the whole project with all the maps and everything. Okay, so very good stuff especially for a new student that's interested in this enjoy and on with the chapter